cast those thoughts down in Jesus name. You feel me? If you let those thoughts linger or whatnot, then you're going to start believing those lies and those doubts and stuff because you did not fight those thoughts and doubts with the word of God. <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to kingdom ties this is your girl ashley and so if you clicked on this thumbnail you already know what we're talking about so yeah so like um if you don't know now you do know um there are demonic forces that are working against us to make us try to lose our faith and belief in god if you click on this thumbnail and you do not believe in god i am here to tell you that god is real and he is the source of everything the source of life he gives out and he provides he protects he covers he delivers he saves and he heals and the only reason why you probably don't believe is because for one you probably wasn't taught two you probably got some wound somewhere that where they probably pray for something and you didn't get that prayer and so yeah so today is this is a topic for that so like i said before the main agenda for satan is to kill steal and destroy and so like off real a lot of times like we be like oh yeah he's here to kill steal and destroy like what is what does that mean what does that look like and so um yes he is after your family yes he is after your children but he's not out there like their physical being he's out there their um he's out there the belief you feel what i'm saying the belief in god because satan has already been defeated by jesus christ when jesus died on the cross and he rose from the grave on the third day satan was defeated he was defeated on the cross you feel what i'm saying and so like his main agenda is to make everyone lose their faith in god so they can accompany him to hell because when satan tried to sit on god's throne and tried to do basically like a mutiny in god's kingdom because he was prideful and he still is and uh, when god cast him down and he felt like lightning he hit the earth he is he was full of hatred you feel what i'm saying and he's hate and he hates humans if you're a satanist and you're watching this video satan do not love you he hates you he hates you like no cap if you're a witch and you do witchcraft you feel what i'm saying and you worship satan satan hates you like that is not your dad that is not your father he do not love you not in the least you feel what i'm saying like i don't care how many times like he may say like oh yeah like some people do talk to satan so like let's not get crazy you feel what i'm saying like if, if i can hear from god and other people can hear from god then other people can hear from satan and they can talk to satan so let's not play crazy you feel me but like all these witches and stuff like they the only reason why they do not believe in jesus christ is because they got a wound somewhere where um or whether they grew up in the witchcraft or satanism or anything like that you feel me but more than likely there is a wound somewhere where they do not believe in jesus christ and they do not believe in god but some of them do some of them do believe in jesus christ and some of them do believe in god and they think that god is their enemy or they think that god is you know god and there's that's their father but the thing about it is just like we're not supposed to get information outside of jesus christ and so witchcraft that's what people do they get they get wisdom well wisdom outside of jesus christ you feel me so yeah so i had to make that um small disclosure right there you feel me because like one thing on this channel we're gonna keep it real we're gonna keep it honest and open you feel me like ain't nobody from the line on the channel you did so yeah if you're a witch if you're a warlock if you're a high priestess if you someone who do voodoo hoodoo santeria all that type of stuff you feel me drop your stuff right now because one you're not gonna win this battle satan didn't win that battle with with when he went against god so i don't even see why you're even still trying to follow after him when he didn't win because don't people follow the strongest person so if satan did not win why are you still following him okay but yeah so satan main agenda is to make every human being on this earth um stay in um stay in darkness it's to stay in sin and to basically follow him to hell you feel me so a lot of people do not know they're that they're following satan they say they love god but they still live worldly they still have sex outside of marriage they still smoke drink all this other type of stuff but the only reason why people do that because one they probably feel like it's cool two they got a wound somewhere like wound, emotional wounds bro like 
them things are real you feel me and Satan play off of people emotional wounds you feel me if you have a wound or some or something of like people rejecting you he's gonna twist it and make you feel like everybody is rejecting you everybody hates you and that you're not wanted that's why most people commit suicide you feel what I'm saying so as long as you have emotional wounds that are open and that uh, are bleeding that are that's the ones that you can't see you feel what I'm saying he's gonna twist it he's gonna manipulate anything he is the father of lies he created lies and so yeah if you lie you're just like him that's what the Bible say. I'm going to give you scripture. I was pondering and everything about how Satan can make a person um, doubt God and make them walk away from the faith. And that's because, like we just said, there's some type of open wound somewhere where he twisted it. He twisted his little nasty fingers in that wound and he made you and he created a lie saying that God does. God is not real. He will not provide for you. He don't love you like that. And all of that comes from an open wound. You feel me? Maybe your parents said something like that to you. Maybe your children said something like that to you. Maybe your close friend or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or somebody that you don't even know said something like that to you. You feel me? And that created an open wound. And so now you got this wound where, like, the next time you come up, you start doubting. Do you start doubting, like, do somebody really love me or not? You feel me? If someone do not get healed, from that wound then they then that can lead to a person not having faith and not believing god because god is all about love and a lot of people say like if god is real why you let all this bad stuff happen like yes bad stuff happened to everybody you feel what i'm saying nobody has to get raped nobody has asked for their parents to commit suicide nobody asked for um them to get beat on in their childhood but stuff happens and just because that stuff happened to you doesn't mean that god does not love you you feel what i'm saying like everything happened for a reason you see you see you feel what i'm saying like of course like like we um have in our minds that like we shouldn't go through anything like life should just be perfect but life is not perfect when adam and eve ate the fruit off the tree of good and off, off of um off the tree of knowledge sin into the world you feel what i'm saying and so sin equals murder strife envy jealousy all this other type of stuff we cannot put blame on god saying that like because i was a child and i got raped like he don't love me like no sent into the world you feel what i'm saying just because like those things happen to you because um because of the world is just full of sin you feel what i'm saying that does not mean that god does not love you that does not mean that god is not real god is very much so real you feel what i'm saying and so that's what is the main agenda for um, Christians is to um, reach people, to talk to people and to preach to people that Jesus Christ is love and that he is coming and that he can heal you. He can deliver you. He can save you. We're supposed to reach back as a Christian and pull out as many people as we can. You feel what I'm saying? Based on our testimony, you feel what I'm saying? Because like I, the stuff that I went through, it can help somebody else and the stuff you went through can help somebody else and even me. You feel me? So like, yeah, like, um, Satan is after your belief, your belief in God. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm for real. God is, um, everything that you need, everything that you're searching for. He's, he's in everything that you're searching for in that bottle. He's everything you're searching for in that weed bag, the dime bag. You feel what I'm saying? He's everything that you're searching for in a uh, husband or in a wife or in a boyfriend or a girlfriend. He's everything that you need. You feel me? He's everything that you need. You don't need nothing else. You don't need money. You don't need all that type of stuff. Cause when you got God, you got everything. And so that's what Satan is after. He's after your belief because the only way for you to, um, get into heaven, which is paradise is because is your belief in God and that you did what he said. And so like, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, if you're rejecting him, and especially if you're a Christian, you're not doing what he told you to do. You're not going to make it in because Jesus said himself, he said that the people who are going to make it in is the people who do the will of my father. The will of the father is the plan of God for your life. So it's very important to do what God told you to do. The only way to please God and to receive anything from him is by faith. You feel me? And so like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I think like a day or two ago, like, um, like God has been on me about like trusting him with finances and stuff like that. So, um, so like, I, so I was just like, bro, like I thought I was trusting with finance. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would be like, God, I believe you're going to provide for me. I believe you're going to provide for me. All this type of stuff. You feel me? But 
the Holy Spirit helped me realize that there was some stuff around my heart that it was just like, you don't believe that. You feel what I'm saying? And so, um, in the things, in the, in the things that were, and he basically showed me and told me like the things that are around my heart are basically the lies of the enemy that he's been telling me. And that saying that, um, God is not going to provide for you. He's not going to do it for you. He'll do it for somebody else, but he's not going to do it for you. And I'm just saying, look, like, are you serious? Like I've sent it, I've been sitting here like saying like, God, I believe, I believe you. But in my heart, I don't believe. And that's important to God. You know what I'm saying? That you believe in your heart. You feel me? And that you believe in God in general that like he will do what he said for you. And so um, when the Holy Spirit showed me that, I started to uh, come against those lies and those um, those lies that Satan was like the enemy was telling me, saying that God was not going to provide for me. Like the devil is a liar. And the only way for you to fight against the enemy, against Satan, against the kingdom of darkness is through the word of God. So, yes, you have to read your Bible. Yes, you have to read that thing from front to back. You feel what I'm saying? That is your weapon. of That's your arsenal right there. That's your weapon. And that's the only way Satan will run or, or any or the um, demons will run is because of the word of God. You feel what I'm saying? So you have to read it. I don't care. Like, bro, you got to read that thing. You got to pick it up. You feel me? Like, even if you don't understand it, bro, just read it. You feel me? The Holy Spirit will help you if you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. He will help you. He's a great helper. Okay. So, yeah, like, once I started, like, um, combating those lies and those doubts and stuff that the enemy was sending, has sent toward me and that was resting on my heart, I'm for real, like, my heart felt so much lighter when I had combated those lies and doubts with the word of God. You feel me? Because God is faithful. You feel me? Like, a lot of times, like, some people, including me, like, I had, I was in that point myself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was like, God, I know you're faithful. You feel what I'm saying? But like in my heart, I was doubting that. Like God, like I prayed for this and this and this didn't happen. Now you want me to trust you with this? You feel me? So like, um, like yeah, like the only way to combat those lies and those doubts and stuff is through the Word of God because God is faithful. He is loving. He is kind. He is gentle. You feel what I'm saying? And He loves you so much that He sent His Son Jesus Christ to die for you. You feel me? So yeah, bro, like you got to pick up your Bible because your Bible is your weapon. Like if you walk around, if you say you're a Christian, and you walk around and you don't read your Bible and all this other and all this other type of stuff, and you just go to church on Sunday and everything, and um, and you don't like spend time with Jesus or anything like that, like bro, like you setting yourself up for failure. You're literally setting yourself up for failure. Like you're open for attack. Like for real, you gotta read. That's just it. But the thing about it is just like I'm for real, like I don't I don't like to read like that. You feel me? Unless it's interesting. But I'm for real, the Bible is very interesting. Very. I'm for real, bro. Like, I'm for real. Like, even like before I made this video, like I always try to read scripture to get more context and stuff. But bro, like I read in the book of John, chapter eight, verse forty four. Like, I would say from like thirty something to like verse forty four, man, Jesus was snapping. You feel what I'm saying? Like he was talking to his believers, like the people he was talking to. And um, he would just call them out for sure. He was like, you follow him. You don't know God. Because if you did, you wouldn't hate me. Honey, I, my mouth was open. I ain't going to lie to you. I was appalled. You feel me? Because I was like, dang, man, Jesus getting smart with these folk. You feel me? But like he was getting smart with them. But like he was telling the truth. It may sound smart. But like he was telling the truth, like you like you y'all don't know God, you feel what I'm saying? And I was just like, dang God, like he like y'all father is the devil. He ain't Abraham, and I was just like. And then okay, last thing then we go back to what we were talking about. But then he was just like, oh, uh, what do you say? He was just like, um, if your father was Abraham, then you will follow his example. But y'all don't. Y'all are murderous. Y'all do this. Y'all do that. Y'all are full of sin. And so y'all do what y'all father do, and that's the devil. And I was just like, yeah. I was like, darn. But yeah. Anyway, to add on to like how to defend yourself against these lies and doubt, right? Because you need a plan. Okay, you need to know how to fight back. One, you need to believe. Okay, put in your mind, set that stead in stone that God is real and that He can and will deliver you. You feel me? Two, ask God to heal your wounds because, like I said before, like. These wounds and stuff that people be having, and including myself, you feel what I'm saying? Like, 
we um when we have open wounds of people what people have done to us and what people have said to us and things of that nature those are open wounds and they are a gate and satan sees them and he will stick his fingers in it and twist them any chance he can get because he do not want you believe in god or his word and he wants you to suffer with him okay and so one choose to believe god choose to just to put in your mind like okay god i'm gonna trust you you feel me and two ask god to hear your wounds you feel me because we all have emotional wounds i don't care who you is you feel me like yes we can't be whole you feel me and heal you feel me but like right now in this certain point in your life you know that if you're healed or not you feel me just be honest you feel me don't try to be proud and be like oh yeah i, I i'm straight i don't need that like okay yeah brother you were just cussing out old girl in the mcdonald's driveway of course you're healed so yeah one believe two ask god to hear your wounds and three pray using the word of god so i used to do sunday school or whatnot with like the ages of like seven to ten or seven to twelve or whatnot and so like i do this myself and so like i told them straight up i was just like because i don't know everything in the bible okay i'm still reading i don't read um majority of the new testament but like i still don't like you know so like i told them straight up like whatever however you're feeling type that in and then put scripture on google it works okay because then you get these lists of scriptures and stuff that um that fit towards your situation you feel me so like if you're believing god for like finances or you believe in god for healing if you believe in god for um um to order your steps or to give you instructions or whatnot type in um type in healing scriptures type in instruction scriptures you may think this is stupid but i kid you not it's going to help you because i kid you not it helps me all the time you feel what i'm saying because one like i said i don't know everything i'm not trying to know everything you feel what i'm saying the only thing i i want to do is be obedient and do what god told me to do that's it don't fight me fight me don't fight me if you fight me god gonna get you of course i have some scripture that i'm going to give you you feel what i'm saying and yes like you know i'm gonna give it to you word up so yeah <laughs> so let's just go in order um chrono chronological order in the bible okay so i only got four scriptures or whatnot so the first scripture is genesis chapter 3 verses 1 through 5 and it says the woman said to the serpent we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden but god did say you must not eat from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch or you will die you will not certainly die the serpent said to the woman for god knows that when you eat from from it your eyes will be open and you will be like god knowing good and evil so while i was reading i was asked i asked the holy spirit like why did eve just completely just not do what god said because she said exactly what god said you feel me don't eat from the tree because you'll die and don't even touch it because you'll die but satan he flipped and he said no you won't die but you will but your eyes will be open and then you'll be a divine being and so what the holy spirit told me was that she was naive and um she didn't stick to what god said you feel what i'm saying so like that's what i said before bro you have to read your bible you have to know scripture because in because in matthew 4 jesus was tempted by satan himself and satan was twisting scripture all the whole time while he was tempting jesus while satan told jesus to make the um stones and the bread jesus quoted scripture satan brought jesus unto like the highest place and told him to throw himself off if he, if he is the son of god jesus quotes quoted scripture then satan brought jesus and showed him all the kings of the earth and all the power and stuff like that and satan said i'll give you all of this if you bow down and you um and you worship me and then lastly jesus quoted scripture and he said in the bible that satan fled from him waited until an opportune time to um test him again to come back again so yes you need to know your scripture you need to know some scripture you need to read the bible period because if jesus christ himself had to fight satan and he fought him by using scripture we are no better than jesus christ okay so yeah read so yeah eve she didn't so yeah eve she didn't she didn't stand on what god said you feel what i'm saying she she remembered exactly what god told her and she didn't follow it you feel what i'm saying 
she followed what Satan said because he tried to make it seem like um, he, she was going to be equal with God. But that's the thing, though. God already made them in his image and likeness, right? So the second scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. And it says, But I am afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christ. And so now in the book of Second Corinthians, um, the author is Paul and he was talking to the church of Corinthians. I suggest everybody read all this scripture and to read um, more of it because it will give you a greater context. And so um, Paul was talking to the church of Corinthians. And the reason why he said that, said that um, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christ is because that people, um, these strange apostles, these super apostles that didn't nobody even know for real, they was coming to these to the churches, teaching and preaching a different gospel, teaching about a different Jesus and all this other type of stuff. And the church of Corinthians, they was falling. Some of them was falling for it because they was just being um, gullible. They was being naive. They was just um, like, oh, yeah, they're saying Jesus. So, yeah, it's the type of Jesus that um, that we're that we follow. Like, no. And Paul was basically tell, telling them that they need to stick to the um, teaching that he gave them. You feel what I'm saying? And, and every other teaching they need to reject. You feel what I'm saying? And so, like, this is just a pattern, but it's just like, bro, like, from the from Genesis to Second Corinthians, we're basically we're just being told to stick on what, on God's word, stick on what he on what he said, regardless of what people say. If somebody bring you any other word regarding your situation, and it's not on God's, and it's not God's word, and it's so and it's contrary, you need to reject it. You feel what I'm saying? The thoughts in your head you feel what i'm saying what people say to you reject what they're saying because what they're saying is not on god's word god's word is powerful it can shift and move mountains and if you want god to move in your life you need to have faith and faith only comes by hearing the word of god so if anybody is coming into you or if thoughts coming into your mind or whatnot and they're, and they're doubtful thoughts Thoughts that are contrary to what God said, contrary to what he spoke or anything of that nature, reject them, renounce them, cast those thoughts down in Jesus name. You feel me? If you let those thoughts linger or whatnot, then you're going to start believing those lies and those doubts and stuff because you did not fight those thoughts and doubts with the word of God. Stand on God's word. His God's word will not fail you. God will not fail you. So if you want to defeat Satan, if you want to defeat the lies and the doubts and stuff, you need to use the word of God. That's what happened with Eve. She did not stand on God's word. The whole world fell. You feel what I'm saying? To the Church of Corinthians, they are let. They were letting the strange apostles come into their church and stuff like that, and teaching about this strange gospel, this strange Jesus and stuff. And guess what? If they, if Paul did not write that letter, correct them, telling them to stay and to stand firm and to keep the teaching that he taught them, they would have been led astray and they would have went to hell. Because the thing about this is, is like when people are following a strange teacher or a strange apostle or anything like that, all everybody who's following them going to hell. You feel what I'm saying? Because in the Bible it says that we're supposed to work out our salvation by um by by trembling you feel what i'm saying we need to work our own salvation you feel me? we got to read the bible by ourselves we got to teach that stuff you feel what i'm saying to us we got to let the holy spirit teach us you feel me so like hey look that's why i say you got to read your own word you can't just rely on people you can't you can't rely on people you feel me? you can rely on god you rely on jesus christ you rely on the holy spirit they'll they will help you you feel what i'm saying they already did an amazing job god the father they already did an amazing job Gave us everything that we need to fight out the enemy. You feel what I'm saying? But it's up to us to pick up these weapons and fight back. And so, yeah. So, like, you can fight back against Satan. If you're a Christian and you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you're baptized and stuff like that, you can fight back Satan. And he and he got to flee. You feel what I'm saying? Don't let don't let these demons try to make you feel like, oh, yeah, you just worthless. You can't fight me back. Like, I got power and authority. Like, first of all, who's you talking to? I gave my life to Jesus Christ. And from what the Bible say, it says that I God gave me power and authority. You feel what I'm saying? Over all demons. You feel what I'm saying? And how would you know that? If you read your Bible. Hey, sunshine. 
All right, the other two scriptures, they don't go. So the other scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. In order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not aware of his schemes. And so, like I said before, read these scriptures and read above them. You feel what I'm saying? So you can get greater context. But the reason why Paul wrote this was because somebody had did something to the members of the church of Corinthians, and it caused a lot of great pain and distress. And so... That right there lets you know that Satan was behind that because God is not going to bring anything to you that's going to um, bring you great distress and pain. You feel what I'm saying? For like for evil. You feel me? God works out everything for our good. But like the that attack or whatnot that brought the, a, a lot of the people in the church, the majority of them, great stress and pain. There was a scheme of the enemy to try to break the church up. Okay. But Paul, he was writing them, asking them and reminding them to forgive, to forgive anybody who's a sinner, to forgive anybody who offended them, because that was a test too. also, you feel me? Because God always looks at the heart and he's going to check, he's going to test the heart. You feel me? And so like, he's going to use everything for your good. You feel what I'm saying? So like if somebody do something to offend you or something to, um, or something to hurt your feelings or anything of that nature, God is going to use that, use it for your good. He's going to use that to see if you're going to put into practice what he um what he said in his word. And so Paul was basically saying that in Second Corinthians, um, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven, in order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not for we are not unaware of his schemes. So Paul was saying that we know we know what Satan came to do. We know how he tried to manipulate things and to uh, hurt our feelings and to come in between church members and stuff. So, um, so let's do what God told us to do. And that was to forgive. So, like I said before, read more of these scriptures so you can get a greater context, meaning a greater understanding of what these scriptures are coming from. So yeah, Satan comes through people. Like we said in the beginning of this video, Satan works through people wounds and try to hurt you you feel what i'm saying so it can get create you more emotional wounds and start making you feel like why god let this happen to me and things of that nature you feel what i'm saying if you got an open wound ask god to heal you because satan can't use you to hurt somebody else or even to hurt yourself so yeah that's how he works like i'm for real bro the last scripture is john 8 44 and it says, you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. And so this is what I was telling you before in, my, in our little sidetrack, in our, in our little disclosure or whatnot. So Satan, uh, no. So Jesus was talking to the children of Israel. And he was telling them that they were not Abraham's seed. There was not um, uh, Abraham's children because they were still doing sin. They were still and they were still doing sin and not repenting. You feel what I'm saying? And so um, they started to argue back with Jesus and saying, like, we are Abraham's seed. We that is our inheritance. And Jesus was like, no, like if that was your inheritance, you feel what I'm saying? Then you will follow Abraham's example. And Abraham was a righteous man. He followed God. You feel what I'm saying? But Jesus and Jesus said that you do not follow Abraham's example. You don't follow God and you don't know him because you're still doing sin and not repenting. So, yeah, you are. You do have a father and his name is Satan. And so the people got mad about that. You know what I'm saying? But when you read the very top of it, it says that Jesus was talking to the people that believed in him. So this is like people in the church, This like in our church. You feel me? This is like people that follow him daily. You feel what I'm saying? And he called them Satan's child. You feel what I'm saying? Because they wasn't repenting. They were just saying they love God. They were just saying that they believe him and stuff like that. And you're not his child. And so the reason why I put this scripture in here, because it said that Satan is the father of lies. You feel what I'm saying? So like if Satan is the father of lies or whatnot, then that means that if anything, if any thought or any doubt or anything comes into your mind or whatnot, and it does not line up with the word of God. It is coming from the enemy. Okay. It's coming from the enemy. It's not your thoughts. You feel me? If there's any thought in your mind that is contrary to the word of God, you need to cast it down in Jesus name.
cast it down and quote scripture over your mind. You feel me? That's how you fight back. So I said all this to say is that these are the things that Satan try to do to trick God's people into believing that God is not working for them, that God does not love them, that God is super, that God is, you know what I'm saying, doing what he want to do in your life and nothing has meaning. Like, no, like God has a plan for your life and it's called the will of God. For the people out there that do not trust God, they don't love God, they got they got doubts and stuff about God, they're completely rejecting God. You have an open wound from somewhere in your past where you believe that um, God is not real because you prayed for something and it didn't happen to uh, somebody did something to you and it really hurt you and somebody tried to say anything about Jesus to you and you just roared up. And the reason why you do that is because it's just like, if God was real, why did that stuff happen to me? I'm sorry that that stuff happened to you, but baby boy, baby girl, the whole world is in, is, is, is coming, is coming to shreds right now. You feel me? And it's all because of two people who disobey God. You feel me? God did not allow this. God did not want this stuff to end in the earth. He did not want none of us to die like this. You feel what I'm saying? He didn't want us to die in general. You feel me? He didn't want none of this stuff. He didn't want people to get raped. He didn't want people to get murdered. He didn't want none of this stuff. He didn't want your mom to be an addict. He didn't want your children running off and doing whatever they want to do. He didn't want that. He didn't ask for that. The only thing he told two people to do was to do what he said. When the serpent twisted what God said and turned into a lie, you feel what I'm saying, into a doubt to make you question what God really said, she did not stand on what he said. You feel what I'm saying? So, out of all the stuff that we don't learn throughout this video, okay, out of all the stuff we don't learn throughout this video, the main thing is to stand on what God said. We don't care what it looked like. We don't care what we hear. We don't care what thought try to keep penetrating our mind. The only thing we need to do is to do what God said and to stand on it. If God told you it's going to rain tomorrow at 3 o'clock, you need to be outside with your umbrella. Stand outside with some rain boots on and a raincoat. I don't care if it's sunny at 259. Be outside at 250 with your stuff on. Why are you standing out here? God told me at 3 o'clock it's going to rain. And I'm out here and I'm ready for the rain. God do not lie. He is God is not a liar. He loves you and he adores you. He gave up his son to die for you. You feel me? So you do not have to go to hell so you can spend paradise with him. But if you keep rejecting him, saying that he don't love you and all this other type of stuff, because you keep wanting to believe those wounds and those lies that the enemy put inside of you, then buddy, you're going to trek along right along to this wild, wide road of destruction. I don't want that for you. God don't want that for you. Bro, believe that God is real because he is too Ask him to heal your wounds that make you doubt and not believe in him. And three, find scriptures. Like I told you, go on Google and type in healing scriptures. Google. Faith scriptures. Google. It works. And when you find those scriptures, you need to start decreeing them over yourself. I decree these things over me. I declare these things over me. You feel what I'm saying? And I promise you. Keep doing it until you feel, until you feel a release. You feel what I'm saying? Because the enemy has to flee. He has to back up. He cannot fight God. He cannot fight God's word. You did what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, if you do these things, you feel what I'm saying? And more, playing worship music, the enemy can't stand on worship music. He can't stand music that glorify God. You feel what I'm saying? Put that baby on blast. You feel me? Turn that thing up. You heard me. I'm for real. So, like, yeah, do all these things, bro. And I promise you, bro, and just believe that God is because he is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you don't see, like, you got to put in your mind, like, bro, like, why are these Christians saying they love God and stuff like that? He must be real or something. Yes, he's real. You feel what I'm saying? Look on all the past videos I made, especially the last one, bro. I tell my testimony of, of how God supernaturally encountered me, bro, that made me want to give up my life to Christ. God is real. Okay, and so yeah, honey, like, comment, subscribe to these videos. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all have a great day. I love you. You feel what I'm saying? Share this with your mama, your sister, your granddad, and the lady at McDonald's, all that type of stuff. All right, I love y'all. Peace out.
Have a great day. And remember, bro, God is real and he is faithful.